Hey, hey guys, how, are, how is everyone? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys can hear me. Let me just make sure. Yeah, you should be able, can you hear me? I hope you guys can hear me. I had my volume down a little bit. How is everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna be looking at our bronzers. So just, yeah, you guys can hear me. I can hear myself. How is everybody doing? Thanks again for joining me. I thought that it would be really fun if we did this live because um, I have to talk through some stuff, you know, like I, I'm good at like decluttering, but like usually it's like older stuff that I've had that I have like no attachment to that, you know, I haven't used in years or whatever. So it's easy for me. But then like with the stuff that I've picked up maybe in the last year, like sometimes there's always that hope, you know, like I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it. I promise. I promise. And then like, of course that never happens. So let me just check who's in the chat. Let's see who's here. Hello, Kara. Hey, Steven. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Sherry. This is a live. This is not a premiere. It's a live. <laughs> I'm talking, I'm coming to you live. Um, I just thought that it would be good because then we can kind of talk through some of the bronzers that I have. Like, what are your thoughts on them? What do you guys think? You know, that sort of thing. So yes, it's a live. It's a live, honey. Hey, Denise, how are you? So what's everybody up to today? Is everybody just done with all the Christmas stuff? Like, what are we doing today? Last minute shopping? Are we just chilling? I honestly have like this crazy desire to go to Costco and buy some eggnog. I don't know why. I just want eggnog. <laughs> so maybe that's what I'll do. Okay, we have Anna Marie. Anna Marie Consor. Hello, Anna. I don't think I I don't think I've recognized your name or seen your name before. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy. Okay, so Sherry's saying she finished errands and now watching Snow White. Oh my god, that's so cute. I don't think I haven't watched Snow White in a minute. That's so cute. I love, love, love Snow White. I love Cinderella. Eggnog girl. You know what? It's the Costco eggnog. Like I have had like a couple other eggnogs, but I really like the Costco one. And I just figured, you know, oh look at <laughs> Denise. She's like, I'm done, just chilling. I have no other choice. <laughs> oh, snow outside. <laughs> She's watching snow outside, not snow white. That's hilarious. <laughs> so Anyway, what I was going to say is I've had like um, eggnog a few times and for some reason like I really like the Costco eggnog. Like is that weird? Like is anybody out there that like knows about eggnog? Like is that like a cheesy version of eggnog? I'm not really sure. I didn't grow up drinking it or anything. You just got a delivery from Costco? Okay, so I usually will order my wine, my Prosecco, whatever from like the liquor store or Kroger or whatever, and they deliver alcohol to me, okay? It's totally fine. And then I tried to order like wine the other day from Costco, and they said that they couldn't deliver alcohol to my zip code for some reason. And I don't know if that's a Costco thing or if it's just, I don't know, a stupid like, I don't know, um, Instacart thing, I don't know, you know? So yeah, hey, well, Steven is at work. Okay, we won't tell anybody. Um, I kind of took the week off because the kids were going to be here. I, my 14-year-old wants nothing to do with me. It's all about his PlayStation 5. My 21-year-old's in California right now, and my 11-year-old is gone. He slept over my sister's house. So I've been sitting here like, okay, I might as well do this because then I get to interact with all of you guys. And then, you know, just whatever. I'm not in like the filming mood, if I'm being honest. So I thought lives would be good because I get to interact with you guys one on one. Um, also, I wanted to ask you guys about tomorrow. So like for us, like I'm Latin, I'm Hispanic. So like we celebrate Christmas Eve. But like I recognize that everything's so different this year. Like we're not really going to have like this big old thing. We don't have to get ready for all this family to come over. Honestly, we're going to put our PJs on and go to my sister's house and just have game night. Like that's literally what we're gonna do. So 
I was thinking about going live tomorrow morning um, so that we could go over my blush collection. And I, I was thinking, you know, if we keep it like an hour or so, like maybe 9 a.m. ish my time, you know, 9 a.m. Um, would be good and just kind of talk through it. I'm probably going to be wearing my, my PJs or maybe not, whatever, probably not. Maybe PJs with like a little bit of eyeshadow, just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, Lizzie, what's on my eyes? Oh, you like what's on my eyes? Um, I am wearing, hello, Dahlia. How are you, love? Hey, Eileen. Yeah, my son is over there terrorizing Eileen right now. <laughs> so she's hanging out with them. Um, what I have on my eyes is actually in the description box. Actually, the entire look is listed in the description box if you want to go check it out. But it's actually Mel Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. I love it. It's new to me. This I actually picked it up, recommendation from Beauty in the Frizz, because I wanted the 420 palette, and she's like, no, girl, no, no, no. Don't waste your time or your money. You need smoke sessions. This is the first time that I have um, picked up the palette, but, like, guys, I wanted to use my Jackie Ina palette again, but then, like, I was like, nah, I need to try this. Like, I need this. Let me just show you. It's so beautiful, guys. And I think, like, I'm going to keep it pretty chill, like, the next few days. Like, I want to swatch all my Sydney Grace shadows that I got from the sale because my collection looks really pretty now. I have two little palettes. Well, I have a big palette and a small one, and there's, like, a whole green palette. So for all my green eyeshadow lovers, yeah. Okay, Denise, you're going to like this, Denise. Boom. Do you see this? Oh, my goodness. This is bomb, right? Yes, this is called Smoke Sessions. We love it. And these are the colors here. Even the detail and like the shadows and stuff, like you have like the marijuana plant there, like, you know, I don't endorse or condone it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, but look at the shadows are so beautiful. We love it. Do we love it? I love it. And um, yeah, Mel Cosmetics. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real, guys, and I know that this is an older palette. For some of the pants, I did have to kind of dig in um, because they were, like, a little bit hard on the top, but it's an older palette. Once I kind of dug in with my finger a little bit, the colors were, like, crazy pigmented. So beautiful. You see that? I love it. I love it. Oh, hello, Molly. Yes, girl. This is a green eyeshadow look. You know, I was trying to keep it simple for today. So we just went with green. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. But um, anyway, I, I left everything that I'm wearing, my foundation, which I talked to you guys about yesterday, and I'm so excited, my Misha BB cream. And then um, I have everything else, you know, bronzer, blush, the whole bit listed down below. I think that I'm also, I have some new makeup that's coming in. Some of it just came in today and some new lashes and stuff like that that I want to show you guys. So I think live is good because... I've been wanting to do a how to apply lashes easily so we can do that. We can swatch our life away. Like who even cares? You know what I mean? Hello, Kieran. How are you? Nice to see you, doll. So why don't we go ahead and get started with my bronzer collection? I asked you guys yesterday if you guys were into like doing this live and helping me talk through some of it. You guys said yes. So, I mean, we're just, we're not going to like drag it out. I'm just going to show you. I don't have a lot of bronzers, but there's some that I'm kind of like, eh, I don't always touch so much. So let's talk through it. Okay. Let's see what smoke sessions looks really nice. Oh, thank you, Kara. Your eyes is popping with that blouse. Popping with that blouse. Nice. Thank you. Confession. I own zero melt. <gasps> Molly, what the heck? You, I thought you picked up the Beetlejuice collection. No, girl. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you you need smoke sessions. I'm going to tell you that you need cheese and parties per Kara's recommendation. And Beetlejuice collection is crazy, crazy good. I haven't seen like the, you know, hit or miss with melt because I don't have a lot of experience with melt. But the, the stuff that I have is bomb. Like this lipstick, I'm wearing one of their lipsticks that I got for $5 during Black Friday. I'm loving it. I think it's beautiful. I really, really love it. I love it. I need to do this live as well so y'all can help me. Hey, that would be cool. Do it, Kara. Do it. Um, we'll do, like, if I do, let me know when you want to go live with your highlighters and then I'll do blush or something else that day. That way everybody gets a little bit of everything. But yes, I'm all about that. I'm good. Just got up. How are you, Yachty? Oh, Kieran, I'm good. I woke up um, a little late today because I was actually off and my kids, 
they just all left me. They're all going their own separate ways. It's all good. So I, I just thought, you know what? I'd rather just hang out with my friends. So <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> all right. So how do we want to do this? I think... I think I'm just going to pull from the bag. Like I said, I don't have a lot, but I'll just pull from the bag. We'll kind of talk through it. We'll see what you guys think. What is your experience with these bronzers? Let me know. Um, some of these are just so new that I can't get rid of them. Like I have to keep using them, but I really like a lot of them. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, is 420 the palette that, that Betsy said was trash? I think so. Yeah, Sherry, Gemini. So let me just highlight this, guys. Sorry if I'm looking down, but yeah, Gemini, um, you're getting that in your stockings? I, I've thought about it. I My sister just got, Eileen, she just got the um, Naked Cherry palette because it was on sale for Black Friday. And those berry colors and everything, like, man, purples and berries really speak to me. But I thought, nah, like, it's fine. And then I went back and I watched Beauty in the Frizz. She had a video with She's in Parties. I don't know. I feel like I kind of I kind of need it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But um, yeah, it's really it's really really um, really pretty. So I would recommend she's in parties. I've heard a lot of good things about Gemini. So yes. Hey, K Bella, how are you, my friend? K Bella was with me when I um, I was doing my foundation earlier. So okay. Oh, the green on my eyes. Yes, this is Smoke Sessions. Can we do like a close-up moment? Like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Let me just show you guys what we got going on. Oh, look at This is like my pose when I take pictures. It's beautiful. I love it. Let me just, um, you guys are interested in it. Um, yeah, 420 is not the best. Which one is your favorite, Betsy? Yeah, Betsy should know. Um, let me just walk through real quick what I have on my eyes. And I just thought it was really pretty how that gradient worked out there. So I thought that was cool. So I started with my Sour Diesel, which is this one here. And I just kind of did that with a fluffy BK Beauty 201 everywhere. And then in the, in the corner, I did um, deepen it up with this one. Space Queen is the name of this shade. And then um, what I did is I went in with Sweet Tooth. This one here, that one's really beautiful. And then on the inside, I want to make sure you guys know, like this is like a very frosty, like minty, icy color. And that's what I did on the inside there. So that's what we have there. And then on the inner corner, I'm telling you, like Kara totally emboldened me to like um, really start using like crazy shades on the inner corner that you wouldn't necessarily consider a highlight shade. Um, but not that it's a crazy shade, but I went in with this one here. But I did this with my Davina video where I did like the maroon in the inner corner. But I think it's pretty. It's like a new trend. I think you started a new trend, Kara. That's what I think. So it's not like a highlight shade, but I think it's beautiful. So that's what we got going on. And I love it. I love it. And I mean, like, it's kind of weird that I didn't have this because like, hello, me and green eyeshadow. Like, we got a thing going on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's see. Molly, that green is gorgeous. I got the BH Pistachio palette yesterday. Yes. It's so beautiful. I have it sitting here. Um, and I told you guys yesterday I want to do seven days of indie makeup. And it's going to be like a lot of BH uh, cosmetics, you know, and then everything else. But I really feel like I have to dedicate a full week to BH cosmetics. Let me know if you guys are into that or not. Um, you know, I think it says a lot when people that like a lot of luxury makeup are goo. Goo Goo Gaga over Indie, especially BH Cosmetics, but the quality is so, so beautiful. So I want to bring that because I feel like I have a lot of beautiful eyeshadows on the luxury side, but none that give me those pops of colors, except for my Dior Denim. That one's dope. But I love like this, like I want to pop, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to sparkle, I want to shine. And so I want to show people BH Cosmetics. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, you love that idea? Okay, do green. Eileen, your eyes will look amazing. I know. I always tell Eileen to do green. I always I haven't done my makeup today. Getting some inspiration now. <laughs> I think you would look so pretty in green. My sister Eileen, you guys are going to meet her for our 1,000 subscriber celebration, but she has yellow eyes, like straight up yellow eyes. She's, you know, she's kind of pretty. 
to look yellow eyes. And everything looks good on her, but she thinks that green doesn't look good on her. And like, maybe we should practice today, Aline. Maybe we should practice today, just saying. All right, so let's get started because I can sit here and like ramble off all day long. All right, so I'm gonna get started with a newer bronzer to me. I picked this up actually like right before I started my channel. Um, it released in March or April, but it's my um, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I have mine in only one shade, which is the shade tan. I really do love it. I went for tan because I thought, you know, it might be too like muted or whatever. In reality, I could have gone for like, I could have gone for shade two, um, but I think that one's more cool tone and it resembles my Marc Jacobs bronzer too much. So I'm glad that I have this one. I can still use it during the winter, I think, but I'll just look extra bronzy or whatever, but I really do like it. Let me see. Let me see what y'all are saying, y'all. Hello, beautiful people. Hey, Natalia. I think any color looks good on anyone. Just might need the right shade of green, blue, red, etc. I, I agree, Steven. I agree. Yeah. Um, I think you're right. <laughs> yes, Kara, I only have one shade. Can you believe that? <sighs> I need to get another one. Just because you said that, I'm going to get another one. <laughs> anyway, things I like about this bronzer. You can pop it out. And you can keep the little seashell packaging and pop it out and fill it in with a refillable cartridge um, or, you know, pan. Um, you can also do it if you need a winter color and a summer color. Truth be told, I don't need anything in my life for the next 50 years, um, which is why I just decided to stick with one color. So we have this one. This one I'm definitely keeping, okay? I'm going to be just, I don't want to just toss my stuff everywhere. Hold on. I'll put it there. All right. The reason that I didn't feel like I needed to buy um, the the shade number two in the Charlotte Tilbury is because I also do own my Marc Jacobs Tantastic. I was just trying to talk my sister into buying this yesterday because there's a sale of Sephora because <laughs> I'm a bad influence. And she finally broke and she was like, fuck it. I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> and when she locked on, it was sold out. So sorry, Eileen. <laughs> So this is my um, my Tantastic Marc Jacobs. And you know what? I just thought about this. Let me start like a little swatch thing going on on my arm here only because um, I believe, I don't know if it was Kara that did this or somebody else, but when you start swatching and you see that there's very little variation, this is the Charlotte Tilbury, okay? And I did take a good deep swatch in there. But when you start swatching, you realize that you don't need as much so that the next time that there's a bronzer release or whatever, you'll look at this swatch and you're just like, I don't need anything else, you know, like I need to stop acting stupid, you know what I'm saying? So this is the swatch of my Charlotte Tilbury. Do you see how that's very bronzy, very, there's gold undertones there, a little bit of red undertone there. I love it. Now, uh, hola Lunita, como estas? I see you, Bea. Okay, now we're going to go into Tantastic. This is more of a cool tone, like I said, a more neutral type of bronzer. And I really do love it. I'm going to tell you that there's, it still looks relatively mute. Do you guys see the little ridges there? That's because um, there's like, people say, oh, there's a myth out there that this thing starts to implode. Like it bubbles up in the middle and then it cracks. And some people say, no, that's not true. It happened to Charlotte Holdcroft and she showed a picture on Instagram and I was like, bro, like the same thing happened to me and I'm so upset because this was literally like the first high-end bronzer that I purchased. And she says, you know, go to Sephora. It's been nine months. Just go ask if they'll replace it. And they did. So I got a brand new Tantastic like in June or July, I think. Um, I think, do you see that? The difference in those tones there? This is beautiful all year long, though. I really do love my Marc Jacobs Tantastic. I think it's gorgeous. So I do think, and these are similar price points, by the way. So we have very large pans. This is like $50, $49 maybe. And then the Charlotte Tilbury was $55. So similar pan sizes, similar, um, similar price point. I love this one. I'm not getting rid of it, okay? Next, let me see what we got going on here. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be, Eileen. You don't have the Marc Jacobs, Betsy? I think it would look beautiful on you. I think that, um, ooh, I think that it looks good on a lot of different skin tones, but Kieran, you said that you got a gift set? 
when did you get that? Can you let us know in the comments when you got that? Because um, that would be something good to pick up just for my giveaways, you know? So, um, oh, Molly, I just got your message. Thanks, doll. All right, next, hello. Woo! Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. What? This is, you know, I'm part of Vicky J's Gucci gang. <laughs> so this is my Gucci bronzer. This is in the shade 03. So gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, you guys. Like sitting on your vanity. Like I know everybody says that. Reality, I don't sit any makeup on my vanity, but it's just gorgeous. This is the shade 03. And again, this is a little more bronzy. It's got those red golden undertones. Um, I got this one because I heard that the shade lighter than this, the 02, was actually darker than this one. So I decided to go with this one. Um, it's perfection. I think this thing's like 60 bucks. And um, you're having FOMO <laughs> over the Gucci. Yeah, it's so pretty, you guys. Oh, my God. Okay, so here's the swatch of... Oh, that's surprising. I've never swatched it next to the other two. I mean, it's definitely in between these two here, you know, my um, my Charlotte Tilbury and the Marc Jacobs, but I thought it was going to be a little bit darker than the Marc Jacobs, and it's just, I thought it was going to look darker than what it does there is what I'm trying to say. So, so far, we haven't replicated any shades, which I'm very, very excited about, so that's very good. Can you purchase refills for the Gucci? Um... Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you can. Does anybody know? I don't think that the pan pops out. Oh, it does. Dang, Steven. Coming with the good questions. Look at you pop it out there. I'll have to like research to see. But I'm, I'm assuming if you can pop out the pan that you definitely can buy the refills. But it, it's right there. So yeah, probably. Oh, it's not cruelty free, Kieran. Yeah, I've been talking, I've been like learning more about that because that's not really been like something that I've looked into. I'm not really educated on that, you know, but um, it's something that I want to learn more about in 2021 for sure. So there's that one. Let me see what you guys are saying. Same, I got three for that reason and it works on my light skin. I'd be interested in trying shade one in the winter. <laughs> this is Molly. This is like all of us. In 50 years, when possibly I pan one bronzer, possibly, then I'll go and I'll buy it. Mm -hmm. Girl, we already know. We all a little cray cray over here. Let me see what Anna's saying. This is our new friend. Please, everybody say hello to Anna because I've never seen her in the chat and I'm so excited when new people come. But I think I know your picture, actually. So it says, ooh, now that I know you can replace the Gucci bronzer with a refill, I might have to get it. I have so many, and I need another. Like, I need a hole in my head. <laughs> Ay, Anna. You know the struggle. You know the struggle. I know. Um, Betsy. Betsy has a little bit of everything. And by a little, I mean a lot. <laughs> so... Yeah, don't count it if you don't want to. Next is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore brands, e.l.f. This is in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. That's what it looks like. You know, it does resemble the Marc Jacobs a little bit more. I do love this one. It's primer infused. It's a pri it's part of the primer infused line. This thing retails for like 6 or $8, and there it is. It looks like nothing on my skin, but I promise you it looks gorgeous when I put it on. It's just like a really easy everyday bronzer, you know, and it's cool toned. When it comes to bronzers and stuff like that, I always go for like cool toned ones more. Um, this is a little too golden for me, the Charlotte Tilbury, but I still love it. But I, I, I like to stay here in this space here, you know, nothing too cray cray. Um, but that's what we do. Oh, okay. See you later, Betsy. We'll definitely watch that when we're done here. The next one that I have, this was really pretty, and I guess it's overly done, but it's the e.l.f. Bronze and Contour Palette, and it comes with, like, a high, two highlight shades and then two bronzers. It doesn't... It's in the, sh it's in the um, color story Light Medium. I'm not going to swatch the highlights too much. They're just highlight powders, but I'm going to go light and then dark and see what we get. 
My biggest thing is like, I just, I don't want doubles of everything in my collection. So that's why we're swatching. Ooh. See, that's right next to the, the first elf one. Still not the same shade. Ooh. Okay, I'm definitely keeping this because I love how cool tone these two are. That's really pretty. I love that. You cannot go wrong, you guys. This thing is eight bucks and like it'll last you forever, but it's just good quality stuff. I really, really love e.l.f. I honestly, I can't say enough. I cannot say enough. I love e.l.f. And, you know, fight me. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. Next we have oh my god an all-time favorite the butter bronzer the physician's formula butter bronzer this thing's gorgeous the shade that i have is in um muru muru butter bronzer shade bronzer just the shade bronzer because there's sun-kissed bronzer and then there's a light bronzer this is just in the middle one the bronzer i love this i love the smell so much my sister has the the sun-kissed one the darker one, and she loves that one. Oh, geez, that looks like nothing, but it really does show up on my skin, I promise. Huh, that's so interesting. It looks like nothing. Did I even swatch it? Yeah, I did. I swatched it. It's there. It's this one here. It looks like nothing, but it does warm up my face very nicely. I don't know. Huh. This one's cruelty free, Kieran. Ooh, Kieran, tell us. Tell us what we think about, oh, Kay Bella, you've never tried this one? Girl, it is like butter. When they say butter bronzer, it's like butter. It just melds onto the skin so beautifully. I don't have it on today, but it is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If I'm being honest, I don't use it that much. Should I declutter? I don't know. Let me just put it in the maybe pile. Let me just put it in the maybe pile. The next one that I have is by Natasha Denona. It's the Natasha Denona Glow. And it comes in this shade here. This shade is the All Over Glow is what they call it. I actually didn't buy this. It's a luminous bronzer. I'm just not into luminous type stuff because back in the day I had a lot of texture. And um, I don't anymore. But um, So this one was actually sent to me by BoxyCharm because they had totally screwed up my order. So they sent it to me. And so um, I used it for a little bit, but eh, I don't know. So let's swatch it. I honestly haven't used it in forever. Maybe I will after I see it here. But do you see the glow in that? That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that's too much. That's too much, guys. I can't. I don't know if you want to try this, Eileen, but I honestly, I can't. It's too glowy for me. This is a declutter for sure. Progress. We're making progress. Boom. Uh-oh. I have bronzer all over my computer. Okay, so that one's getting out of here. I don't love it. It needs to go. This is not going anywhere. This is my new Hourglass Edit Palette. I just bought it this year. I had never owned one of these palettes. The bronzer's right there. It is a luminous bronzer. And let me see what shade this is in. The bronzer, number four, bronzer, nat natural bronze light. I do believe that this was a shade that was recommended to me. Um, so let me swatch it for you guys and see what we get here. That's not too luminous. I think that's pretty and it's neutral enough. That one's crazy. Look at that Natasha Denona. Crazy. I don't think so. That's beautiful the natural bronze light. I'm going to be honest, like I don't I don't use this palette too much except for the blushes and like this shade here. Sometimes the highlight. I haven't used it too much, so I want to get more use out of it. Um, but this is actually really really pretty. I think that's a great actually perfect perfect shade for me. And although it's a little luminous, it's not as luminous as the Natasha Denona, which is just stupid, you know? So there's that. I'm gonna do one more powder and then after that we'll get into the four cream bronzers that I have. So you guys let me know. Oh no, I have two more powder. Um, okay, this one I linked. This is the one that I used today. It's the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. I actually got this from BoxyCharm like maybe like a year ago. 
when I started BoxyCharm and I love it so much, you guys. I love it so much. I don't know if you guys can tell here, like this one's def, I'm gonna hit pan on this one this coming year for sure. These two are definitely dented in. The palettes and the powders are so, so beautiful. I don't use this one too much, maybe in the summer, but it's always like these two shades right here are bomb. And then sometimes I will use the highlight powders like just under my eyes or like on my nose. Today I used it on my nose. Just the powders are so pretty. I love it. I'm wearing it today. And again, pay no mind to that. That's hyperpigmentation. Um, but it's just so smooth, so beautiful. And again, princess cut and angle. These two I'm going to hit pan on this coming year. Now, the reason that I wanted to use this is I wanted to show you guys because it just looks really, really pretty. Minus the hyperpigmentation though. Like, it looks gorgeous. And this palette is on sale for $25 at Sephora. And if you know right now, stuff that's on sale at Sephora gets an additional 20% off. So I wanted to like use this today and then show you guys this one because it's 25 bucks plus 20% off, which I think is an excellent deal. I There's not one shade in here that I think doesn't work. I think they're all beautiful. The, even these two highlight powders I think are so pretty. Um, one of my favorite, favorite bronzers. I'm not even exaggerating these are some of my favorite bronzers here i'll swatch the ones that i always use which are princess cut and angle so you guys can kind of see what we got going on here there's princess cut so again very neutral and then there's angle so that warms it up i love it i love it oh my god i love it these are just perfect perfect 25 dollars for a palette that you're gonna have for a while plus 20 percent off girl go get you some um, let me see here. Oh, te encanta esta paleta, Selenita. Oh my God, está tan bonita. Me encanta. La usas a diario. Okay, so Selenita saying that she uses it every day. Um, oh, you would love to see videos of my makeup that I hit pan on? Hmm. Funny you should say that, girl, because we're going into a very, very, oh, like, self-aware and conscious state of mind 2021. Um, I just started my YouTube channel and in May, actually, and I thought, you know, this is what I have to do. I have to buy a ton of makeup and blah, 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 blah. And this is how, you know, we grow and whatnot. And I do think that some of that is true, but I was trying, I was planning on um, doing like a video on like what I spent, uh, you know, in makeup in 2020. And I was going to do like what I spent in 2020 to start my beauty YouTube channel, just to kind of give people an idea. This was actually inspired by a video that Morgan Turner posted, and it was like, what did I spend at Sephora in 2020, okay? And she was embarrassed by the amount she spent, and I just laughed because I know how much I spent. And I'm like, I have a problem. I need to knock this off because I am getting away from like the love for makeup. Like it's not all about buying the new, new, the new, new, the new, new. There's still gonna be new makeup on my channel because I do enjoy some new releases, but I have to really get better about being very choosy with what I purchase, not getting every new release that's out there and really using the stuff I have because guys, everything you guys have heard me say about these bronzers is how much I love them. I don't have enough cheeks or enough face to use these bronzers up. You see what I'm saying? So it just becomes so wasteful. Again, I still enjoy new makeup. I'm not gonna stop buying new makeup, but it has to be scaled back like big time is where my head's at right now. I started 2020 in a makeup no buy, no buy 2020. And, um, and um, I did pretty good. I actually went until the end of March. That's when I kind of broke and I bought a new product at Sephora. And, but I wasn't buying new makeup this year. And then I started my channel at the end of May and it went downhill fast from there. And it's just the pressure that we feel as a beauty YouTube channel because um, some people, people that only like review channels, they're, they're insatiable. They wanna see new every single day of the week. I don't wanna be known as a review channel. I wanna be known as like a channel where we just play with makeup, we talk about makeup, like, you know, all that stuff with a little bit of new and a little bit of pan. Like, that's just the way that I want to be. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh, Molly, we both do, girl. That's why we commiserate together. 
Anyways, oh, listen to her. So Kay Bella's saying, yes, January will be a whole month of nothing new for me. I think that's a great idea. And actually, like, we're planning on this collab with Kay Bella and a few others in the chat um, that's launching, you know, at the beginning of the year where we're going to talk about, like, the direction of our channels. I don't want to say I'm not going to have new. Yes, I am. Like, the big, big new releases that I really, really want, that I want, I will. But I'm not buying to review because I'm not a review channel. Just saying. Anyway, not to be a Debbie Downer, but it's the truth. The next one is one that I absolutely love. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. This is Shantakai Goa. And it's a little bit more red than I would have liked, but I think that it's okay. Um, I do want Sirena, but as you can tell here, Sirena, by the way, Shantakai Sirena, the other shade that goes with this, is more cool toned. But as you can tell, like I don't need another damn cool tone bronzer in my life. I'm telling you, I don't need it, right? And so, um, <laughs> Molly, I identify with this so much. <laughs> I'm like, yes, that's disgusting. That's nasty. I don't need to buy it. <laughs> Let me see. Anna's saying, oh, I have to run to a meeting. Y'all have fun. Oh, well, thank you for joining us. Please, please, please come again. We'll be here tomorrow. See you there. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. That's so fun. I love it when you people come. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna swatch my Shantakai Goa here. Oh, I didn't realize it was that gold. That reminds me almost exactly of this one in the Park Avenue Princess. And I think it also reminds me. Mm, no. I thought it would be close to the Gucci, but this is the Gucci if you guys remember. So they're all pretty much different shades, but, you know, they all do the same damn thing, right? Like, do we need it? I think that's beautiful, though. Do you guys see that? That's really been, like, a go-to for me lately is my Shantakai, the Goa. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. Let me show you guys one more time. That's gorgeous. What do we think about this one? I'm not decluttering this one either. You use this one daily, Molly? Yeah. These are good. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. So far, I've decluttered one. So we're going to throw this. Well, if Eileen, if you want to try it, you can try it. And then this one is still a maybe because I don't use it. But I don't know. It's just so good. Those are my bronzers right there. These are powder bronzers, okay? So let's count just to make me feel even more stupid here. So we have one because I'm going to count this as one because it's a palette. So we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten powder bronzer situations here. Again, it's just way too much. Let me see. I just discovered you and already love your personality and reviews. Oh, thank you, Kim. Welcome. We're so happy you're here. I love it when I see new people in the chat. Like, it's exciting because I just like more people to like talk about makeups with. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. And Library Lena, have I seen you before? Yeah, I don't think I've seen you before. But yes, I did. Lena, I saw that video. I saw that video. And um, unfortunately, I am a YouTuber. But that doesn't mean that I can't think creatively about other things, you know, in regards to makeup. Like, we can still have fun talking about makeup. And it doesn't have to always be new. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love Charlotte Holcroft too. She's the bomb. All right, now we're gonna talk about my um, we're gonna talk about my cream bronzers. I only have four, and like I'm proud of that. Um, but I can tell you that I do use them all, so I'm just not so sure. There's one that I don't use that much. Let me just start with that one. And I'm talking about the Fenty Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade 03 Macchiato, which I thought was good. It's cool toned. I do love that. Um, I love Fenty. Like Fenty products, for the most part, never disappoint me. But I haven't used this one much. Maybe I just got too much going on, but that's the color there. I think it's pretty. It still smells good. I got it, I got it like in December of last year, I think. Look at how gorgeous that is. Girl. That's so pretty. And then just like the way that I do my makeup, like I'll go in with my cream products and then I set with like a cream bronzer or 
I mean a powder bronzer, a powder blush. Like that's how I do my makeup. So this definitely serves its purpose. I just haven't touched it in a while. So maybe I should do like, I've seen some YouTubers that like say something like, help me pick my makeup for the week, you know? And then it helps us to keep rotating our stuff. And then we can come back and give you guys like a good thorough assessment of what our thoughts are, you know, on the makeup that we hadn't used in a while. That might be a good thing. Then this one, I used this one yesterday in the live. This is such a favorite, you guys. It's the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. I love it. Love it. Yeah, Natalia Lavrova, she's actually on here um, on YouTube, and she does, like, you know, Auntie Hall's, like, project panning stuff, and it was just a no-buy for her. Um, she was a lot more successful than I was in 2020 with that. But she started her channel about it, so yeah, that's good. This is Tantor. Now, do not be scared by how deep it is. This is actually the medium one. Yeah, this is the medium one. Don't be scared because this thing will just like, oh my God, you guys. It just like um, blends out like so nicely, so nicely. And I go in, do you see how dark it looked and how it's starting to blend out? I go in very, very light. Like, I don't go in all crazy, but it's just so pretty. The formula is so nice. It never looks patchy. It always blends out perfectly every single time. Um, I used to use the, um, I bought, like, the, Fen uh, the Huda Beauty bronzer brush that went with it. I think it's back there. And then I also bought the Fenty one when I bought my Fenty bronzer. But um, I actually just used, like, my BK Beauty 106 for all of it. So... I really, really like this one. I'm not going to declutter just yet, but it is a year and a half old, so I might have to. It says it's 18 month shelf life. I feel like it still performs very nicely and it still smells perfectly fine. So I'm not gonna declutter it quite yet, but I might like in the next six months or so. I think cream products are like a little bit more weird like you don't want to keep them too long but I really do love this I enjoy that color so much and I love how different it is from my Fenty and then the last two that I have this one is the Woma Beauty double take and you get two sides so you'll see this again when I do my highlighters but you get the bronzer side and the highlighting side it really is a beautiful um, color and then it does blend out just like the others, like very easily. It does look deep, it does, but it blends out so nicely, like just like butter, so it doesn't look like super crazy. So on the days that I wanna do, let me see here. On the days that I wanna do like something like a little bit more contoury or whatever, I'll go into that stick, I'm, I'm not gonna, but do you see how it slowly starts to like blend out? It's so pretty. Oh my God, I love this one so much. This was actually a recommendation from my friend Jen at All Feisty. And we basically swapped favorites and then we did a video on them to see if we loved them as much as the other person. And I do really, really like this. I wanna try more from Wilma Beauty like in 2021 because I placed a large order and I had an issue where I didn't receive it, but it was like at the beginning of the pandemic when everything was so screwed up. So it happened with a couple brands, but I want to try more from them because I think they got some good stuff going on. And then I have this Tom Ford one, and this was actually a gift from my friend here um, in the chat, actually Molly. And this is the Tom Ford glow stick and same idea. So you get a, a bronzer stick there and then you get a highlight there. I've actually... Um, I should probably do like a comparison maybe video because I think it's really good. Let me see. Yadi, do you have a video already on your top bronzers? Maybe you can do ranking. Hey, I don't have that. That would be a great idea. I that would be a great idea. I don't have that. Thanks, Natalia. I think I'll definitely work in that. I feel like initially I bought so much of stuff because of YouTube, but now I look people with good taste for quality versus quantity. Yeah, I agree, Kim K. Same thing. I agree with what you're saying. Um... So this is in the 04 um, Courcheval. Is that how you say it? Courcheval? And I like this one too because let me tell you why. Like obviously um, the highlight is pretty, but we're not talking about highlight today. 
but it's like a pinky highlight that I really like. And I don't like a lot of pinky highlights, um, but this one's really like bronzy pink. And then this stick foundation is a little more red. It's not as like, I'm going to show you. It's just pretty. And then if you do this, like, um, you go in with your stick foundation and then you go in with like a neutral Marc Jacobs. Like the the contrast is so, so pretty. And I just think it's kind of crazy. Like it's red. But, you know, still it blends out so nicely. And um, during the winter is when I've been using these two sticks quite a bit because my skin can take more emollient products on without getting super grease ball. You know what I mean? So I really have been loving these two. So thank you, Molly, for sending me this one. I love it so much. And the highlighter is just beautiful. So those are the ones that I have. So let me just kind of go through the bronzers again. This is what we have. I mean, the makeup hoarder in me wants to point out the fact that none of, that, none of these are an exact shade dupe, right? They're all, they're all different. I love them all the same. They're all different. Um, but what this shows me, and I know that Kara said this in her video, is just, just how unnecessary this is. Like, when in the hell do you guys think I'm going to go through all this? Like, when? And, I mean, I don't know, you know? Because I have been the crazy one that says, well, like, you know, I really, really love this formula. Like, let me buy two shades of it. Oh, my God, I have a backup. And it's like, why do you have a backup? It's going to take you like three or four years to go through it anyway. You know what I mean? So that's good. <laughs> I know you have backups. Or I know you have doubles, Kara. I'm sorry. But this is me too. Like I'm, I'm preaching to myself. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I've got going. It wasn't like a successful like declutter. No. Like the only one I'm getting rid of is this one. Because I just decided that I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting rid of this one. I like it too much. I love it. I love it. So I'm not going to, but I think that going back to this video and just like seeing like, you have all the colors, all the shades that you could ever want, because these are all favorite shades of mine for bronzer. Like you don't need to buy the next release. Um, unless it's something totally different and it's got blue sparkle in it or something. You know what I mean? Like you don't need it. You've got more than enough. Let me see. Hi, everyone. Oh, hey, Nadia. Yeah, no worries, friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of Physicians Formula. Please respect me at this moment. <clears throat> I'm not doing it. I don't care. So, yeah, loads of... Um, Tom Ford, yes, they're beautiful. Be and I don't have a powder Tom Ford. And then I think, well, I don't have a powder Tom Ford. <laughs> I don't need it. I have a ton of other powder, you know? So that's my bronzer collection, guys. Like, what do you guys think? Is there any on here that you've been wanting to try? Like, do you think I should get rid? Like, if you look at this comparison swatch arm, like, is there some that you feel that I could get rid of? Like, what do you guys think? Because in reality, in the next... I would say like in the next year, all of these will be expired. Does that mean that I'm going to get rid of them? Like, no, not really. Like, to be honest, I'm not going to get rid of all of them. Unless they start looking weird or like cracking or whatever, I don't throw my stuff out right away. I like to check to see if it's still good or not. So I don't know. So what do you guys think? What are we thinking? Is Yadi crazy? And I've seen people with like way more bronzers than me and I feel pretty ridiculous right now. But I think that it's helpful that I did this and I think that, you know, I'm still learning. Like I feel like I know who I am and all that, you know. I know, um, but I do feel like I need to constantly be thinking about better ways of doing what I'm doing. And when it comes to YouTube, I want to bring you guys the content that you guys want to see. But I don't want to, you know, be the one that has, you know, all this makeup that's just sitting around and not being used. So that's my whole thing. Keep them all. <laughs> Keep them all because we're going on a low buy anyway. <laughs> so anyway, any of these that you're looking forward to buying, let me know. Make sure that this is a new one, guys. 
this is a new one. Make sure that you share this live with others. Like that's how people learn about our channels is by sharing it. I know that a lot of sharing happens when there's a giveaway and whatnot, but like, you know, I, if you enjoy this community, I really would appreciate it if you guys share the live with someone, share it on your Facebook or on your Instagram. Um, you know, just to build up the community so that we can continue to grow. That's how we grow our channels. Um, I wanted to give you just a quick little um, bit of information on the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. The winner has been chosen. I'm so excited. I can't even wait. The winner has been chosen, not notified yet. We are actually going to wait until the beginning of the year. I wanted to send it off before Christmas, but there's just there was so much validating that had to happen. There was a lot of people that entered the giveaway. And that just took a long time. So what I thought is because there's so much vlogmas happening and everybody's uploading content every single day, I thought that we could do it like once the new year starts, like within the first week or two. Uh, there's a little bit of coordinating because like my sisters are going to be on here with me, Kara, a couple other friends. And so we just want to turn it into like just a really fun night for everybody to hang out. Um, you know, there's other things I want to do, like maybe some additional prizes to people in the chat. I don't know. I just want to make it fun. I want to make it fun for everybody because that's what we're here to do. We're here to have fun. And so please bear with me. It's going to come in the first or second week of January. We're going to have a party up in here. Like you have no idea. There's going to be really, really good stuff going on. So definitely that's what's happening. I love all of you. Thank you. Thank you for just making this such a good place for me such a beautiful escape I love the friendships that I'm building and you know what um during my 12 days of collabs I did gain quite a few of subscribers but I already love the connections and friendships I'm building with my new subscribers like you guys make this such an amazing place for me and I'm so excited um let me see what everybody's saying in the chat one second give me one second it's good and painful to go through our stuff it reminds us of what we have yeah absolutely Powders last longer than the company say. Okay, let's put this up here so people can read it. Hold on. All right, so powders last longer than the company say. I know some will come for me, but I think part of it is marketing to get us to buy more. I agree. So I don't throw my stuff out right away, Natalia. I think with cream products, you know, I can keep it a little bit longer than what it says. But once it starts smelling funky, like, I'm going to throw it out. The powders, there's powders that I've had for years, and they didn't smell funky. So I don't know, you know. That's all I'm going to say. I don't endorse it. Like, I'm not telling you to keep your old makeup, but <laughs> I'm just telling you that I'm not throwing it out. That shit was expensive. Um, let's see here. Keep it. Keep it. Yep. Absolutely. Plus shipping so slow anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. And this would be like a, she's talking about the giveaway box. It's a huge box, guys. It's super heavy. And like, you know, I'm also thinking about shipping. Like, how do I ship it? Do I ship it in two boxes? Because I, like a lot of that stuff can, can be destroyed. There's a lot of eyeshadow in there. So I want to insulate it better. Like there's just stuff that we got to fix, you know? Um, let me see. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Oh, your birthday's on the 6th. My son's on the 7th. So yeah, we definitely want to make it a party. But like my thing is like, I love that I'm giving away this humongous box. I love it. But then I'm like, what about everybody else? So like this is where I'm like thinking like, can we do door prizes? Can we do like raffles throughout the live? I think that would be so fun. So I'm trying to think through that, guys. I just want everybody to have a blast and walk away with a little something. You know what I'm saying? A little something. So it's going to be so much fun. So I that's all I have for you guys today. If you're interested, again, in the makeup look, like it's in the description box. Everything's there. You can go check it out. The huge, huge takeaway is this little palette. If you are interested in it, it's $25 plus 20% off. Link is in the description box. I, um, I think that's it. I think we're good. Um, I think we're going to have a good time. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I'm going to go live. Don't feel pressured about anything. If you're there in the morning hanging out, great. And if not, you know, it's fine, but I'll just do it. Just if people want to watch the replay, you know, I'm not doing anything. So I just want to hang out. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Please don't forget to like if you like what you saw. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And go and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's where it's so, so fun. And share this live with somebody you think might like it. Okay? All right. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to try my, my outro. So, like, you know, I hope this doesn't go stupid on me. But, <sighs> shoot. Sorry. Hold on. The, 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 the beauty of lives, the beauty of lives. Let me just, let me just see if we can make this happen. All right. Love you guys. Bye.